Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Very informative explainer from Jared Hill, former NBC Fiber, and now on to Tom Messner, a longtime NBC Fiber. <laughs> How am I going to follow that? I feel like I need a pointer now. <laughs> that, that was kind of handy. I like that. Or change my clothes on TV. That's pretty cool. Too. Yeah, you got to do the little jump, and there you go. I know. Yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Nothing happened. Oh, man. <laughs> Anyway, the magic of television. Hey, it's going to get cold around here. Let me just start by saying that. Temperatures have been dropping throughout the day. We are in the 30s, even 29 degrees Saranac Lake right now. But if you take a look to the north, it is way colder up there. We've got an air mass that's going to come down from the north, and it's going to make itself known around here. You will notice a huge difference going forward. Meanwhile, we've got a bunch of clouds out there tonight. Just want to draw your attention to here this time around up in the Great Lakes. We've got just a little front that's going to be coming our way in terms of moisture. And because of that, we may find a few snow showers around late tomorrow afternoon going into tomorrow evening. I think most of those are going to be in the mountains, just so you know. So during the day tomorrow, we're really looking at seasonable temperatures, mid 30s. That's about where we're supposed to be. But it turns a lot colder this week, meaning that's just, well, the tip of the iceberg. You know what I mean? Wind chills are going to be below zero by Wednesday morning, and I'll show you why that is. We're looking at future cast wind gusts here. We know the temperatures are going to be going down. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow, okay? So we're going into evening time. Watch the way the wind gusts pick up at a change in wind direction. So here we are in the morning on Tuesday with a very stiff north to northwest wind. We've got wind gusts easily in the 20s. And then temperatures going down even farther as the gusts start to die off a little bit. But this is the way it's going to feel first thing in the morning on Wednesday. It is going to feel like we're at or below zero in a bunch of places, including in the Champlain Valley. I had mentioned earlier the storm systems that's down to the south. This is Futurecast, a wide look. And you may hear that it's going to be pretty messy in southern New England. It's going to miss us, but we are going to get some snow showers from that little front. So it's going to be mostly cloudy tomorrow, mid 30s for high temperatures, maybe a little bit of sunshine. We'll take you through tonight, and here comes your tomorrow. And by 6 o'clock, just a few snow showers around, most in northern New York then, and then they blow through. This this is the cold air coming in. Tuesday's going to look just fine, so you know, but man, it's going to be cold. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Temps in the 20s for lows. For tomorrow, it's going to be mostly cloudy. Maybe a few late-day snow showers. Mid-30s right in the Champlain Valley, and that's fairly uniform. I think, you know, well into the 30s for most of us. 36 tomorrow is going to do it. Cold and blustery on Tuesday. 22 is the high, and temperatures dropping from there. 7 for a low by Saturday morning. The high that day, 18. Snow south on Thursday. I think most of it out of our viewing area. There is going to be a bit of a nor'easter. We go back into the 30s by next Saturday and then some snow showers around a week from today and the following day next Monday.